Yo yo yo, what is going on? It is your man, bad please, we're bad at you. With another video of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So let's continue where we left off and I'll s please enjoy the video. Stop there, Wolf Kissed. This ends now. Dag, turn around and walk away. Your habits are not my own, Eivor. I do not flee responsibility for the sake of my glory. I stand firm with my people. For many months, I have stood at your side, keeping faith in Sigurd's judgment. Because I believed in him and his vision. Do as Eivor commands, he told me. And I have. Against my better judgments, I did as you have asked me. And where has that left us? Without a Jarl? Without a purpose? Watching you chase glory around this land like a spooked hare! You could have come to me in confidence, Dag, but that offer is gone. I have no need of it. My mind is fixed. Hear me all! I challenge Eivor for the leadership of this clan until Sigurd is safe home. Walk away, Dag. No! We fight to the death. I accept. We settle this now. Ah! A final act of courage. Very well. Let the circle be made! I'll caress you on their foot! Please! Please, both of you! to do this. Walk away. You walk a fool's path, Dag. This does not need to happen. A coward to the last. Have courage, Eivor. I will make it quick. Master Eivor, are you scared? Oh, Do you not see what you do? There is no honor in this. What do you know of the honor of Sigurd will not hit you? You suckle at it! I would grant you exile. Leave this place. Go with your life. Spare me your pity and fight! So be it. You leave me no choice. Silence! <laughs> 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 
I had any pity, I would not lavish it on this poor fool. He forced my hand. Yes, and the cost of disrespect is death. You said it yourself. All he demanded, you gave him. That should be enough. I have no need for one so fragile in my hall of heroes. He fought for what he believed in. Does that not count for something? Does it? You killed him all the same. What is the true cost of disrespect? The choice lies with you. Come to this old friend. Take this and fly to Odin's hall. Whatever you sought in this life. May you find it in the next. Go to your homes. I will lay him to rest. Go to your homes! Dag accused me of betrayal. He accused me of breaking my oath, and this, this is the answer I gave him. Now you will hear the truth unvarnished. None, none more than me wishes for Sigurd's safe return. You know this. You know this. All of you! And I will burn the fields, and dredge the rivers of Wessex to find him. That! That is my oath! That is my oath. I will find Sigurd. You will not be without your Jarl. Yes, I promise. you for that. I miss hearing you tell your stories, old friend, but I remember them well. Eivor. How do you feel, Eivor? I... Uh, I would rather not talk about it. I understand. I want to see the Alliance map. What of Essex? We received a summons from the Elderman and his Lady of Colchester, requesting you specifically for a matter of great secrecy. Foreboding. And who is this Elderman? 
one of King Alfred's lackeys. According to my scouts, he is a man who cares more for his own indulgences than the safety of his people. Approach with care. I will leave at once. An alliance in Essex would be invaluable, but go with caution. I need your eyes, my friend. It seems Elderman Bearston has made this room in his longhouse. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk the barrel dry? Dad, Bearston. His household is as... Lord. Ah, a heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I am looking for Beerstan, the elderman of this shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Beerstan, his household is as poorly run as his land. Bestrid is a good wife, far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater right is a worthy woman, you coxcomb. But she's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffles. If Birsten does not return soon, if Birsten does not return soon, wine will not be the only thing spilled upon this floor. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he is away, I will speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor, for I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You do not strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I am weary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him... I will remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I will return either way. Is a godly virtue, Adred. 
Even the saints were tired of waiting for Beer Stan to hang up his bow. Dear Astrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land, with or without him. I will continue it in a bit, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.